What's up guys, welcome back, it's Maverick here today with another episode of Spy Family. So last episode, we went through the interview process for Anya. Um, you know, whether successful or not, that is yet to be decided. I think it's going to be a yes though, after all, we wouldn't have a series if they don't pass. But in any case, we got to see some ridiculous stuff, we got to see some heartwarming stuff, and you know, I'm assuming that we are just going to continue on this process uh, in this episode as well, right? Probably they will learn the results of their interview uh, my best guess is they might pass it on some like certain conditions or something of that sort or maybe you know invite them back for a second round of interviews something of that sort right I, I, I highly doubt that they'll just allow them to get through without any problems at all or, or at the very least even if they do get through once Anya gets into the school you know her life will probably be made very very difficult but in any case uh, let's just get into the episode and find out all right let's begin in three Two, one, play. No. Oh. Huh, oh, really? Are they just... Uh, well... <laughs> that is a lot of bad luck, eh? There's going to be more, right? <laughs> huh. Or maybe are they going to go? Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out together. Pencil black. Why? Why is that information necessary? Oh, nope. <laughs> um. All right. So what's it gonna be? Are they like gonna be given a second chance? Are they gonna go? I don't know. Hmm. By the way, that was a pretty interesting touch there with the, you know, Sakura Blossoms Bloom as well. I was about to say, you know, would that really be a saying that they would use in, you know, in, in Europe at that time? You know, even as a code phrase, I don't really think it's a really good idea to use something as exotic as that. But again, maybe I'm being a little bit too serious about all this. Obviously, the reference here is you know, school starts, right? Although, actually, um, the West has a different starting date for a semester, for a school year, than, uh, than Japan does. At least the way I understand it is, uh, in Japan, the some, the school year starts in in April, which is why they always say, you know, that is when the sakuras are blooming, right? Well, they pass or fail. Ah. Uh, oh, here we go. Addition. Okay. So they're like uh in in waiting reserve backup. Are they going to do some sabotaging then? Oh. 
Okay, that's the excuse they're going for. <laughs> well, they gotta save face, right? Yep. Mm. They're definitely thinking whether or not they want to sabotage someone. That's why you need to die! <laughs> oh, I guess like... <laughs> He threw his weight around, then, yeah. Hmm. I think it would work in there. It does work in their favor if they remove that dude, though. Because if he really has it out for them, and, you know, Anya gets in, her life will be made very, very tough. <laughs> and hey, they didn't have to sabotage anybody. Oh, yeah, I was like, they haven't been introduced yet. <laughs> okay, she's not good with liquor either. Peanuts. Oh, look at, look at you in the background there. Why is that Princess Peach there? Oh, he's voice acting. Like James Bond and what Super Mario added together? Play a spy game? Okay, then they can... Ah. That's nice. So basically a day at the amusement park, right? Aww. 
Is Yoris sober though? Get reservations. <laughs> Yard was still drinking. What? Oh wait, they li they're literally flying there today? Co-workers? No, seriously, drop the bottle, Yoru. You know what? If I was a kid, just being on a sleep just being on a seaplane enough is enough of a reward for me. Oh. Well, honestly, I've never been on a seaplane before. <laughs> so is this like the... the Cold War European version of Disneyland or something? Although, you know, all things considered, like, since this is in Europe and in Germany, right, this is probably like a real- yeah, I think they mentioned this is a real castle, right? A real castle? Nobody here? <laughs> okay. You are being a little- <laughs> That is... Oh my god. <laughs> Wait! Wasn't that just supposed to be a thing? Or... Did I misunderstand something? Oh my god. <sighs> so what's Yuri gonna do? Oh my god. They're all gonna be fired up, right? They want to prove themselves. <laughs> Is this gonna be like a two episode thing?
Please push. Oh. Is it sabotaged? <laughs> I do think it's. Yeah, they already have this stuff here, so... Well, I guess they mentioned it was in the middle of renovating, but... This guy is getting way too into it. <laughs> Peanuts. Of course, he's going to be changing into that outfit. That's a bit. I feel like that's a. <laughs> nah, just put it on, right? It's for your daughter, just do it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look at Anya. Damn, having an entire theme park to themselves. That is great. Ooh. What, hand to hand combat? I would ex. Yeah, it's. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> we gotta have like an action scene here, right? You know, I get this feeling that Yoru is probably going to be like the final boss. <laughs> oh? Dang! <laughs> nice! <laughs> wow! Dang! <laughs> you can almost imagine him infiltrating like an enemy layer. Woohoo! Nice! <laughs> Why are you using explosives there? Ah, uh, it's for theatrics, of course. I mean, they are in on the plan. Yeah, there's gonna be one final boss here.
<laughs> he is enjoying himself way too much. Oh, yep. <laughs> Saw that coming a mile away. And she's drunk as well. <laughs> Uh, like, come on, there's no way they don't think she's, they can't tell that she's highly trained and lethal. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, oh, asleep. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, all the agents are like, ah, that was fun. Oof. They burnt a lot of money on this operation. Two pass out. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, look at that invoice. See you guys after this. Alright, alright. We got a little bit of a fun episode here. So, the drama t turned out to be uh, not as exciting as I thought. Uh, I was seriously thinking that, okay, due to the fact that they were going with a waiting list sort of thing, so they, they then need to go through this entire process of finding someone to eliminate and, uh, you know, maybe not necessarily eliminate, but but maybe sabotage or something and, and make it so that Anya could, could get into the school. Um, and, you know, considering that this is more of a whole some show I was expecting you know at the very end maybe you know they wanted to do something something bad to some innocent people but they couldn't do it but then at the very end it turned out that they didn't want to go to school anyways something of that sort so I was already thinking like uh, all the possibilities there similar to what Yoru was thinking right although definitely uh, I don't think they would just kill some some random nobody in order to do this, but but still, um, I guess this this works as well. A little celebration for Anya. Uh, I'm 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 cringing at how much money must have been spent to do this. Still, like seriously, you know, rental fees, all the agents, transportation, the fireworks. Hell, the just the fireworks alone would be worth tens of thousands of dollars. Like I'm that that little thing right there that night. Definitely was in the six digits, all right? That was definitely in the hundreds of thousands of dollars when you total all the costs and whatnot. But I guess only the best for our Anya-chan, right? And hey, we got to see some pretty ridiculous stuff. Uh, if I were to make a complaint about everything, I was actually hoping that the agents would be a little bit more... How can I put it? 
like they, they would have put up a little bit more of a fight instead they just seem like henchmen from from like your normal uh villain layer or something because when when frank was there saying that guys go all out and and you know do your best to to trip up uh lloydman i was fully expecting them to like pull out all the stuff like utilize all of their um agent training spy training kind of stuff lay traps put put booby traps and etc etc uh i was actually expecting even from the very beginning right from that little uh um, that that little traveling mechanism like sort of kind of like a ferris wheel but not really uh, like a rail on tracks kind of thing i was expecting that part to just be booby trapped immediately right and for lloyd Min to get increasingly frustrated throughout the whole thing instead they went with more of a i guess more of a cool approach here uh which i guess if you think about it, it does make sense right what they are really trying to do is put on a show for anya so in that context it makes a lot of sense they're just trying to replicate what happens in the bond man show which is obviously uh rather than you know it's much more of a hero versus villain kind of thing here um kind of like evil villain kind of thing more of a cartoonish kind of thing not really necessarily like uh the james mom films or, or whatnot so yeah it, it makes sense uh in that way we also got to see some awesome uh, fighting from both Lloyd and from Yoru as well. Although I have to say, like the Lloyd Yoru fight was way too short. Yeah, that's complaint. Uh, I feel like if there's anything that's gonna be a complaint, that would be the true complaint, right? Like we, like Yoru didn't even do much this episode. She's basically acting drunk and and just smiling and like literally like 80% of the scene. Like, give her some more screen time. Let her let her unleash her potential here. Um, and but. I guess, uh, technically, if, if we really want to go through it, I mean, there is also a realistic reason why she shouldn't have too much, you know, she shouldn't be going up against Lloyd too much, right? Because you know, she is strong. I'm pretty sure that probably in hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, she would win over Lloyd. Um, like, pure hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? Like, obviously, if, if this was a situation where, you know, they could use their surroundings and whatnot, I feel like it would be a little bit more even. But just straight up the fight? Eh... You know, one is a trained assassin, you know, utilizing lethal stuff, and, and one is uh, a spy, right, which is more for gathering intel and whatnot. So, I, I feel like Yoru probably has the edge there. Um, and uh, I've been saying throughout all of these episodes, right, like, considering the perception level of not only Lloyd, but, you know, all the other agents as well, how can they not see her moves and not be like, okay, this is a very suspicious girl, we need to investigate further, right? Sure, for the sake of this story, but that is a pretty big suspension of disbelief here, I gotta say. Um, but yeah, anyways, you know, at the end of the day, wholesome, as it has been for the past few episodes, um... And yeah, that's basically it, right? And I mean, again, Anya is adorable. Uh, I, I can't believe I keep on saying this, but but honestly, a lot of times I don't really like all many of the children in 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 anime and whatnot. Like, sure, they're a lot of times they're adorable, but they're also quite annoying at a lot of times. But Anya is just like, ugh. even when she's being annoying, she's being adorable. So, uh, adorable annoying. Like, I just made up a word, like, something something of that sort. So, uh, it's really hard to, to be angry at her or, or think she's unreasonable or anything. And hey, if anything, it's, it's like, Frank and Lloyd that made this into a big thing. Honestly, I feel like she would have been fine if they just went to the theme park and, and had fun, right? And, you know, in some aspects, I would even argue that that might even be better, um, you know, to, to, to really feel the bustle the crowds and you know the vendor stuff you can you can see the floats and and whatnot um i was actually fully expecting them to to instead have a um you know just make it as a day at the theme park instead but eh, all right whatever uh it is a once in a lifetime experience i guess uh, and of course yoru being drunk she doesn't really understand the concept of all this either and she says oh all right whatever you know we're just gonna have a fun time i'm not gonna think too much into it uh yeah anyways that is it for this episode not really too much to to add here i guess we'll see what happens at school in the next one or the the episode after that um and they certainly didn't really give us much information in regards to you know the the other teachers you know the the bad guy the one who's who's out for them the jealous one and and once again I am quite curious how exactly the show is going to continue on when, you know, clearly Anya is going to have to go to school and then there's going to be this time where Anya is off by herself and then Lloyd and Yoru are 
off by themselves as well, right? Actually, what what do they do during the day? Uh, Lloyd obviously still needs to put up a, a, a show of, you know, he has work. He also has work. As, oh, well, actually, if we think about it like that, then it makes a lot of sense, right? Because Lloyd has, technically, he has a cover job uh, where... Um, you know, he, he's off probably investigating stuff or doing some spy stuff. Uh, Yoru still has an actual job at the at the city council, right? At the city hall, so she needs to go there as well. And then Anya will just be at school. Yeah. So I guess we will know more later. Anyways, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.